they're crawling all over the place. They come out at night. tablespoons of soy sauce and uh, about a tablespoon of oil just uh, shake them together and uh, this is for the earwigs to be placed in a pot or in the ground so this is from uh, a few days ago maybe five days ago and you can see there's quite a few of them that's in there um, this is a pot with the susu and chili peppers and these were eaten leaves as well there's some damage here and for the longest time I let it go but it seems to be I trimmed some of the leaves off as well uh, so it seems to be uh, in most of the pots most of these leaves were eaten and I trimmed them off so this was placed behind, right here. That was placed behind. And uh, so there's quite a few of them there. So those are the ones that might have been eating the leaves. And they seem to be mostly earwigs instead of Japanese beetles. So I'm just gonna leave it there. place it under the leaves and uh, so this plant has taken off after that a uh, few days now it seems to be doing better uh, there's some new vines new leaves uh, but they're pretty badly affected by the year weeks so I'm sure they'll do better now dark places and there's uh, some damage to this uh, loofah plant so I'm just gonna put it in between there and uh, they seem to be attracted to the, the soy sauce and then they get caught in the oil uh, but this plant has been bugged you can see there's some other plants in this pot that's uh, either eaten by Japanese beetles or uh, earwigs uh, so I'm just gonna put that there and see uh, how that works they like to hide in the dirt they come out in the night and uh, they'll probably have to feed on something like that they'll be attracted to that solution That's a Japanese beetle together with earwigs they're causing havoc in the garden. Last year it was more Japanese beetles, this year it's more earwigs.
out he goes Gear weak damage the down pipe and this pot was infested so I had to take the pansies and throw them away I think somehow it got waterlogged 